This video will walk you through three methods for setting up multi-factor authentication for Office 365. The first method is the Authenticator app. This requires a smartphone and is the most efficient method of these three. The second method is a text message. If you don't have a smartphone, but you do have an SMS or text message enabled phone, you'll want to use a text message. The third method is a phone call. If you don't have a smartphone or a text enabled phone, you'll want to use a phone call. You will only select one of these three methods. If you've installed the Microsoft Outlook plugin for Zoom, you'll need to update your Zoom profile. This allows your newly set up multi-factor authentication to continue to sync your meetings between Zoom and Outlook. After you've set up one of the three multi-factor authentication methods, you can set additional phone numbers as backup methods in case the primary method fails. This can be an office phone, home phone, vacation phone, etc. This step is optional. The first and most efficient method for multi-factor authentication is the Microsoft Authenticator app. To set up the Authenticator app, log into MyC State and click Surge Mail from the Tools menu. Log in if prompted. During the initial setup of multi-factor authentication, you'll be prompted for additional information. Click Next. This method is using the Microsoft Authenticator app. Select Mobile App from the Step 1 drop list. Then click Receive Notifications for Verification, and then click Setup. A screen with a QR code will be displayed. Leave that screen up and go to your cell phone. Open your cell phone's app or Play Store. Search for Microsoft Authenticator. Install the Authenticator app. After the app is installed on your phone, open the app. Tap on I agree. Tap scan a QR code. Allow the app to access your phone. Scan the QR code from the browser window with your phone. Once your phone is properly over the QR code, it will scan automatically. On your computer, click the Next button on the QR code page. Click Next again. You will be prompted to approve the login on your cell phone from the Authenticator app. Tap Approve. On step three, select your country or region and enter a phone number as a backup in case you lose access to the Authenticator app. This can be the same number as the phone you use to install the app. Click Next. Click Done. Click Yes to stay logged in. You've successfully set up multi-factor authentication using the Authenticator app. The second method for multi-factor authentication is using a text message. To set up this method, log into My C State. Click Surge Mail from the Tools menu. Log in if prompted. During the initial setup of multi-factor authentication, you'll be prompted for additional information. Click Next. This method is using a text message. Select Authentication Phone from the Step 1 drop list. Select your country or region and enter the cell phone number that will be used to receive the text message containing the authentication code. Click Send Me a Code by Text Message. Click Next. Go to your cell phone and open the text message containing the code. Enter that code into the Step 2 text box on your computer and click Verify. Click Done. Click Yes to stay logged in. You successfully set up multi-factor authentication using a text message. Go to the last section of this video to see how you can add additional phone numbers. The third method for multi-factor authentication is using a phone call. To set up this method, log into My C State. Click Surge Mail from the Tools menu. Log in if prompted. 
During the initial setup of multi-factor authentication, you'll be prompted for additional information. Click Next. This method is using a phone call. Select Office Phone from the Step 1 drop list. Select your country or region and enter the phone number that will be used to receive the phone call. Enter an extension if necessary. Click Next. Answer the phone call. Follow the prompts on the call. Thank you for using Microsoft's sign-in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. If your sign-in was successfully verified, goodbye. Click Done. Click Yes to stay logged in. You've successfully set up multi-factor authentication using the phone call method. If you've installed the Microsoft Outlook plugin for Zoom, you'll need to update your Zoom profile. This allows your newly set up multi-factor authentication to continue to sync your meetings between Zoom and Outlook. To sync Zoom and the Outlook plugin, log into My C State. Students will go to the C State Today sub tab, scroll to find the Quick Links module, and click Zoom Meetings. Faculty or staff will go to the Tools and Applications sub-tab, the Tools and Applications module, and click Zoom Meetings. Click Sign In if prompted. Log in if prompted. Click Profile from the left menu. Scroll down to the Calendar and Contacts Integration section and click Configure. Click Office 365 and then click Next. Click Authorize. Select your Cincinnati State Office 365 account. Click Accept. You synced your Zoom plugin for Outlook. After you've set up one of the three multi-factor authentication methods, you can set additional phone numbers as backup methods in case the primary method fails. This can be an office phone, home phone, vacation phone, etc. To set up an additional phone number, log into My C State, then click Surge Mail from the Tools menu. In the top right corner, click your initials or your profile pic and then click View Account. In the Security Info box, click Update Info. Click Add Method. Select Alternate Phone. Click Add. Ensure you pick your location and add your phone number. And click Next you will receive a phone call verifying your new number. Follow the prompts on the call. Thank you for using Microsoft's sign-in verification system. Please press the pound key to finish your verification. If your sign-in was successfully verified, goodbye. Click Done. You can repeat this process to add additional phone numbers if necessary. The app password is used behind the scenes by the system. Do not delete the app password.